I'm your podcast host, Jaron Smith, and I'd like to welcome you back to this week's special edition of the Augustana Observer podcast. So, kind of to start us off, do the two of you mind kind of introducing yourself and kind of telling me, like, like your position here at like Augustana and kind of telling me about today? Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Daisy Moran. I am the Assistant Director of Office of Student Inclusion and Diversity and Augustana's first LGBTQ coordinator. And hi there, I'm Song Sony Yang, and I serve as a director for the Office of International Student and Scholar Services, and I've been here for seven semesters. So how long have the two of you been, like, doing some of the things that you do here at August Um, So I've been here for seven semesters, and since May of 2019 is when I first started, so a lot of cultural programming, immigration visa uh, since then, yeah. Yes, um, our director has been here, I want to say, for seven years, and since uh, her leadership, I think our office has really prioritized uh, innovative programming, so I want to say um, our annual holidays around the world kind of started with that partnership with Ashley and Song yeah. Sony. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad to hear you mention that, because that does kind of transition into the next question. Do you mind telling me a little bit more about like the holidays of the world and like, kind of how it started, things of that nature? Yeah, I think it's just an inclusive understanding that we have domestic and international students here of ethnicity, cultural diversity from across the globe, across the country, and the representation of what they do around the winter holidays, the winter seasons, especially when they're away from family or when they're here trying to create new families. What do they do around this winter time? I think that's where the spirit of holidays around the world began. Mm -hmm. So um, by my understanding with like today, like a lot of different holidays are being celebrated. Mm-hmm. You mind telling some of those holidays that are being celebrated? Yeah, so some of the holidays I think we're, we're looking into is there is Hanukkah that's happening right around. Uh, our Kwanzaa. Lady, yeah, Kwanzaa. Our Lady Guadalupe is happening uh, mm-hmm. on campus in like, next, next week, yep, next, next Saturday. Saturday. Um, we also are celebrating, of course, the American culture that's happening. We're having hot cocoa bars um, right in there. Um, but festivities, our uh, GET team, which is Global Engagement Team, is also doing a saran wrap um, kind of uh, game that's <laughs> happening here. And I think it's an American thing, and they, they just love it. Um, so they wanted to do that. We also have presents under the Christmas tree that will be the students will be uh, able to get and take part of. And then, of course, we have a photo station where students can come by and take pictures. What does it mean to the two of you that you're able to kind of help run this event put it together? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's really special just validating each person's own different experiences um, as an individual and then as a person maybe in a culture community that they identify with. So having that representation, I always say you can't be what you can't see. So when you see that affirmation of your culture being represented at the campus that you're really devoting a major portion of your life to, I think it speaks volumes. Yeah, I, I would totally agree with Daisy. Um, are, you know, what better way than having our students, domestic or international students, who celebrate that to be here witnessing and then saying, hey, here's what I participate in, here's what I do, come join me, come Mm -hmm. visit, come be a part of my culture. But at the same time, um, you know, as collaborators together, we also see the American cultural identity that we put on and showcasing that back to our community, whether international or domestic students who were or haven't been a part of that, to be able to enjoy that here on campus. I understand, like, kind of like, I'm a junior here, it's like my third year, and then really just like, if anything, this year really feels like the first true normal year of college that I've had, because two years ago, COVID, COVID, hit. COVID, yeah. COVID yeah. Like pandemic, yeah. so like, didn't really get to experience stuff like this. Yeah. Last year was a slight return to like, touch. like normalcy, and then this year really does feel normal, so I guess really the next thing I want to ask is like, how is really like, how does around the world kind of really changed within the last few years like dealing with COVID and then like now when things are trending towards normal? Mm. Oh, I love that conversation of just, you know, thinking about that. I think, I think the realness of when COVID hit, um, it was such a, an eye opening of how much we needed to, to see each other, to be around each other. And I think with more events happening this academic semester forward, we see faculty, we see offices, personnel, staff stepping away from their office and enjoying the real programs that 
you know, the offices such as OSID and OHS put on, but not only that, seeing what the students have put on, what they're bringing to the table, and then being like, oh my gosh, like, I didn't know you guys do this, or just to see them to take part in that, it speaks volumes because, uh, you know, it's not just our office, it's the Augustana campus that's together in unity, putting all, all this together, and we want the collaboration, we want to see the representation of all across campus to be a part of this. Yeah, I would, I would have to agree that now we can actually build bridges between communities before we were forced to be isolated and kind of on our own, but now we have that human connection that we so yearn for during the pandemic, and it really taught us how to be resilient and adaptable. Um, how can we do the same programming but virtual, even though it might not have that same um, impactfulness of in-person, but even in virtual, it's building that community. Um, and I just want to say, too, like mental health awareness, um, suicide rates are the highest during the winter season, so it's even more important that we have these collaborations, these in-person events, so that students have that community and that sense of belonging. Yeah, yeah and uh, um, that was kind of like the next like bigger concern because like me, like my personal experience, like um, like for me, like my family, like as I realized as we got older, like certain holidays and stuff like that, like we still celebrate, but it's not really, I guess you'd say, focused on is when say like. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. like so on and so forth. But like now, I feel like that holiday spirit is it's by its coming back is because of COVID. Just really because like um, two years ago, uh, unfortunately, like my uncle passed away from COVID around this time. It was really hard on my family, mm -hmm. harder on some than others. It's kind of slowly kind of getting back to like normal because like the way I like think about it is that like. My uncle would want us to be sad, and of course right. it is sad, mm -hmm. but he would want us to try to be mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. like, that's kind of how I think about it this time of year, because, yes, I do miss my uncle, but at the same time, I still think he's, if I could talk to him right now, I'm sure he's celebrating his own. Yeah. You know, and I will echo, too, I, I think COVID really taught us about humanity, right? The closeness, the warmth that we all need, and so... Um, because it's winter time here in America during the whole holiday season, Christmas, and then there's New Year's. Um, it's really it tends to be really colder, colder than we would like than the summer. And I think that just celebrates the closeness, the bonds that we want, the the purposely getting together for Thanksgiving, the purposely getting together for Friendsgiving, the purposely being wanting together to put things. It's that closeness, that humanity, the warmth of trying to get involved, to be involved, to invite. I think that's what the whole you know spirituality of like you know just the warmth around the holidays is, is really about yeah I couldn't agree more and then like also like this is still on the same subject just slightly different it's what like 50 degrees outside <laughs> I would say it's like I kind of like adds on to like the warmth because like even though like really when I think of December I think of snow no. yes. and cold like, I'm not a big fan of the cold, but, like, at least for me sometimes, like, it doesn't really feel like Christmas mm -hmm. when there's not mm -hmm. snow. Right, but, right. Um, at the same time, I'm not exactly complaining because right. I'm not the biggest <laughs> yeah. fan of the cold. Right. But my next question is really, what does, like, this holiday season really mean to the community? For me personally, um, kind of have we mentioned that we all of us may have relatives or close loved ones that maybe have passed. Mm -hmm. So during the holidays, we may be grieving. Um people that we love or places, experiences that we miss because of COVID. So I think now being in a place where I can create that holiday magic for others that I had in my childhood, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like playing Santa in a mm -hmm. sense. It, mm -hmm. It's realizing that that magic was just somebody that loved you so much and wanted to create a memory and experience for you. Mm -hmm. So now being in a place where I can do that for students mm -hmm. here on campus, it just fulfills me to the max. Yeah, I, I would totally agree with that too. I think with me, it's just the warmth, the getting together. Um, I think about my international students, I think about the domestic students, I think about myself, you know, who a refugee daughter who didn't have a lot, parents didn't know about um, the Christmas holidays, um, the stranger who gave me the card, or being a part of a, a group and opening presents for the first time, didn't understand what that was, and what does it mean to have hot cocoa during winter? Wait, what, you also put toppings on your hot cocoa? <laughs> I think that whole enjoyment, the whole experience, right? It, it's all about the newness, all about the warmth, all about like 
opening eyes. Um, and I think that creates a space, especially for our office. We say we're the hub for the international students, and I really want to create that. Um, but at the same time, inviting them to be a part of our conversation, a part of our ideas. At the same time, also learning what do you do, what do you give, what do you, you want to be a part of, what do you want to see next year. Um, and I think, you know, from what we did it the first time, it just continues to grow. And, and I love it, um, you know, because uh, we're not the gurus of, of diversity in our office, but we love the conversations we get, you know, um, to say, hey, next year, could you do this? Or the following year, like, have you thought about this? Or, you know, next time, why don't you do it this way? I think I love the critique, the back and forth understanding, because we want to we want to get it right, you know, um, and we want to make sure, you know, like Daisy said, to make sure that they feel like home here as well. Uh, my next wish, there's, okay, the, I think this might be the best way for me to ask this. In terms of, say, like, working with, like, international students, how often is it where, like, maybe, like, the two of you are talking to students and, like, they genuinely don't know what Christmas is? Yeah. Yeah, it, it means different things to different people. So, uh, with our Asian students, they do not celebrate, you know, Christmas. Um, the birth of Christ is not something that is a part of their religion. And so that's an understanding that we have to educate to say this is an American culture or European culture that is celebrated. If that's the case, where did the, where did the tree come from? And so then it's mm -hmm. a whole nother understanding of, well, that came from Germany, right? So all these great pieces. Um, and we can't just clump our students together. Let's say, for example, Kwanzaa. Our African students don't celebrate Kwanzaa. That's an African... Um, American heritage that was started here to recognize that, right? And so it's clearly back and forth conversations to understand with our domestic and international students to get representation to talk to them about what are the, some things that they don't know. And then it's exciting. Yeah. If they don't know, then this is why we get to put on these great, exciting programs to say, look and see all the enjoyment. Oh, here's what goes on during the winter holidays, right? Because it's not just Christmas. It's not mm -hmm. just Kwanzaa. It's not just Hanukkah. Uh, Lunar New Year is just right around the corner. You know, it's all these great festivities that are happening. Um, and then even Eid, right? Eid doesn't happen right around the holidays. It's more towards uh, April this year. Mm -hmm. But still, it's like the holiday festivities where we get to great, have all these great e um, events. Uh, I'm glad you kind of touched on some of like, the other events. And my next question was like, for the other events, will there be any other kind of things to look forward to for like the two of you might have planned? Absolutely. Yeah. I think um, two things to note is um, Augustana, um, Christmas at Augustana is happening right around the corner. St. Lucia is happening right around the corner. That's a big part of Augustana yeah. heritage. Dia de la Virgen, which celebrates um, Mexico's, uh, the Virgin Mary, the, the depiction. Um, and the story goes back because an, an indigenous person from Mexico saw the Virgin Mary on a mountaintop. Mm -hmm. So there's a story and a play that goes with it. Mm -hmm. And Latinos Unidos always um, does that for the community. Mm -hmm. So it's not only building bridges on campus, but in the Quad Cities region. Yeah. Um, so when the college goes on a hard break, it closes, our international students are still here, and so we will have um, sort of an event or summer, no, a winter program happening here still. Uh, we have two faculty residents that live on campus. They'll be doing kind of a Christmas-themed event for the students. We're going to have a couple of events that are happening, and then, of course, New Year's is going to happen, so we'll be here on campus to help with the students. Um, what else is going on? Um, Lunar New Year will take place um, this year in January, so look out for an event that's happening um, to celebrate the Lunar New Year festivities. Um, and then when the students get back in February, there'll be like a bigger event that will happen. And then two, a month and a half after that, Eid will happen. Um, and so, of course, look out for um, Eid celebration, um, iftars um, that are hosted by various offices, and then, of course, the community iftar. Yeah, so Ramadan, of course, too. That's and Holy. Happen. And Holy, yes. That's one of my favorites. Holy is going to be happening soon, too. So. Do you mind telling me about what Holy is? I generally don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so Holy is a, I would say, Southeast Asian, Asian um, heritage in which light over evil is... Um, 
Yeah, it's kind okay. of like a spring festival, and the story goes back um, to like this mythology story of good versus evil. Yep. Um, it's a really interesting story. I highly recommend um, either watching it on YouTube or uh, reading a book about it. Okay. Um, but it's such a fun festival, not only to celebrate uh, Southeast Asian culture, but also how can we learn to be allies to that community mm-hmm. and that culture. Mm-hmm. Um, and then personally, it's just so fun throwing the, the, the paint, the colored powder in the yeah. air, um, and giving blessings to your friends because yeah. also that's yeah. a big part of it as well. Right. Right. Well, um, in general, like, you know, I just want to say thank you because like, really I've learned a lot about like, how they like, from other cultures. Um, and, like, I appreciate you be taking like, the time to sit down and talk with you a little bit. But really my last question really is, what does it mean to the two of you that you're able to, like, let me restart that. What does it mean to both of you that kind of how Augustana puts an importance on like the holiday season and then like holidays that are coming in like as you mentioned like January, February and like mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. does it mean to you that you're here and like what do you think about how Augustana does these kind of things? Yeah, I think there's many things to speak about that, right? Um, we talk about like futuristic internationalization, globalization and so putting that spin perspective to our students learners today, leaders tomorrow, right? And so giving that autonomy for students to speak about what they want to see, giving the autonomy for offices to put on programs that we know needs to be done, collaboration all across campus, and just allowing that space to take place, I think really speaks volume to what Augustana wants to see, the continued bringing in of international students, the continued domestic students, um, the STEM programs that we get, um, the HEAT awards that we, you know, get, yes. um, and understanding that, you know, diversity is real here, inclusion is real here, sense of belonging is here, mm-hmm. um, and then getting, you know, faculty and staff and also um, personnel to lead those initiatives to say, here's what we, 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 we need, and you're going to be the one that's leading it, you know, yes. and then allowing us to grab people, students, offices, um, outside Quadcidians to come be a part of that conversation is, is really key. Yeah, I, I would have to, to add on to that. I would say that what attracted me to work at Augustana was the organizational commitment to diversity and inclusion at each level. So it's not just one person, it's not one department, it's all of us trying to see how can we be more inclusive, how can we make sure that students are enjoying themselves here at Augustana and having a good experience to then take those experiences to their communities and create radical change that they want to see or maybe that they needed when they were youth themselves. Can you say, I understand kind of my closing thought on like this matter is like one of the things that really I liked about Augustana when like learning about it really is just the, like all the different like cultural groups and stuff like that and like being here learning more about like having classes with people from all different areas of the world in a smaller setting, I just think that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then just really the last thing I really want to add about the holiday season is my favorite part of the holiday season is just getting to see family, like my brother, brother, sister, um, just because me when I was in high school, they were away, and now that I'm in college and they're both back home, I'm the one who's away, so really just in Africa, the 17th, so in about two weeks or so, roughly, uh, just being able to be around both grouping off with my brother and sister, mom and dad, that's my favorite part. Um, but is there anything else that you would like to add? Yeah, I think my favorite part is to be with my, I have four brothers, four nephews, mom and dad back home, and uh, you know, just like we said, being able to come back home, loudness around, <laughs> yeah. rambunctiousness around the house. Um, I love to cook, and so constantly cooking, a yeah. feast, we always get feasts. Um, inviting friends and family over to just come hang out. I think those are my memories as well, too, and my always continued conversation to have. Yeah, I would have to agree. Cooking recipes that have been passed down from generation to generation and then attempting to do a Christmas card with three dogs. Uh (laughs) Very, very adventurous. (laughs) My mom recently actually would have been last year or in January, actually earlier this year, thinking about it, got a new dog. Um, It's a lab purity big dog and this would be her first Christmas Aww. and when I don't know if my mom is going to tree up yet but when she does I'm sure the dog, her, name, her name is Nala I'm sure Nala will be so confused and try to attack and curious. the Christmas tree yep. but that'll definitely be a really fun thing to say but yeah. again I just want to say thank you both for your yes. time and I hope yeah. the both of you have a really happy holiday season.
you as well. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in to this week's special episode of the Augustine Observer podcast. I'm your host, Jaren Smith, and I hope you all have a happy holiday season.